All right. So first of all, it's a pleasure to get an interview with you. Thank you. I guess first of all, I like to welcome you to Pittsfield. What do you think of Pittsfield so far? Are you enjoying well, Western I've been, Massachusetts? Or I've been here before, and um, I love it out here. Nice. The countryside is wonderful. I, uh, I've got friends out here. It's just um, it's a great place, it's especially great place. during the summer. Yeah, cool. Uh, how was know. how was the Northampton show? How was the 11s? Oh, good. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I did some research on what you're doing right now, and I, I really, I first of all, I kind of feel the same way about the like the way you're looking at music right now and how you know, looking at new stuff. And I know you're really into like electronica stuff. Um, I don't know, I guess I wonder, like, do you, do you think that, I know you take the, you, you've been really into trance and stuff, and like, do, do, you, do you think that, um, like, you'll keep trying to work guitar into that? Yeah, the music I make, I haven't really been tempted to make music without guitar. Okay. But the guitar is, is just a component of it, you know, a lot of, t- sometimes when I play, people say, Oh, turn up the guitar, and also yeah. it's not really guitar music. Yeah. And there, I do play guitar in there, but I like that combination of uh, electronic music and guitar, and that's something I've been playing with for the last 20 years, but just recently really done live. Cool. So it, it's, um, but I know what you mean. There's sometimes you think, well, there's no. Nothing really left for guitar to be right. done with. But with, I'm not really seeing that with my music. You know, I'm still seeing that there's a good place for the guitar, but it doesn't need to be up front. Mm. Like that's the, yeah. the thing. Or it doesn't always have to be the lead player. Right. You think you're gonna include any other instruments other than the theremin and the guitar and the chaos later in the royal week? Stuff. Well, um, for me to play live, um, I do a lot of stuff as yeah. far as uh, recording the tracks and stuff that I use in the computer live um, with various kind of synths, uh, etc. But that's possible, but I kind of had my hands full now. Yeah, I could see how that would be a lot to handle. Yeah, um, but it's definitely possible. All right. In a couple of days, you're going down to New York City. You're playing the Iridium a couple of days. You know, yeah. A couple of shows. Uh-huh. Uh, one of those shows you're playing with the Les Paul Trio. How did that like come about? Well, they play every Monday there, and um, Les Paul died some years ago, mm-hmm. and he used to play every Monday there for our years. The trio uh, keeps playing there every Monday. And a lot of times they have guests, okay. people, and I, and uh, I don't really play Les Paul tunes or, yeah. or anything like that. So that was my first question: is like, well, you know, I can't really fill the Les Paul void. Yeah. But they so, but uh, it's not really a, about that. It's yeah. about jamming with the current trio. Oh, that's cool. And so I'm not even sure what we'll do next, but we'll figure out something. My music basically comes from improvising, and that's my main kind of thing. So if people are open to uh, different stuff, then I generally I, I don't have a problem connecting up with them on improvising. So it'll be interesting to see what we come up with. I'll, I'll also play um, my uh, the set that I'm touring with, mm. or sets. Right. Or select, you know, I yeah. a lot of songs. I only play a certain amount per night, but yeah. um, I'll also play um, stuff, new stuff, you know. I, I kind of have to agree with you on the whole improvising things. I, I play guitar myself. And oh, I, cool. I, 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 I guess one of the best things that I do is or at least take pride in my improvising ability, or at least try to work on that more. So, uh, okay. yeah, I, I resonate with that. Well, it really, um, to me, that's what feeds my music, my songs, um, 
which I write a lot of songs, and I think what helps me be prolific is just improvising all the time and always exploring new stuff, and then you end up writing new songs, you know, well, new stuff songs. Just comes out of- I don't know when, yeah, uh, so that's always been, even when I've done real structured songs, um, um, improvisation is an uh, you know, important element to it. Alright, um, so right now I, I know, I, I looked up what you're doing right now, you got six bands going right now, is that is that oh. something that's, is that like something all at the same time, or you just kind of got certain ones that are active and certain stuff here yeah as, as far as live shows um in the last year i year over a year year and a half i just been playing um greg in and the royal we stuff mm. um but i'm always working on a lot of collaborations with different people because right. i do write a lot of songs and um, so i'm always working on something different how did you get into uh, your work with cats and taking in cats and volunteer work with cats? How did you get into that? Um, really, um, um, just I always loved cats. I always moved around a lot, so there was many years when I could not have a, a pet. Mm-hmm. But um, it kind of just out of necessity, there were... We're, I was finding cats that were in need of homes, basically. So I took some in temporarily and kind of just got involved with um, realizing how many homeless cats were out there and how many cats needed help. Um, and uh, it's something that I've been involved with probably the last 15 years or so. And, with cat rescue it's just I love cats and um, it's something where I feel like I, I've learned a lot about taking care of them and so it's like I have a lot of skills in that area now after so many years and so yeah. it's, it's just I guess my calling or whatever <laughs> alright it's a passion I see what exactly happened to the posh boy slash SST split there was only a limited run of that. Um, oh, it just was a limited run, I guess. So it did what it was. Posh Boy, who was a friend of ours, yeah. and uh, we just... Um, oh, he said he's never heard why it came to be, and only 500 LPs were... So it was just it was just limited. That's all. It was like. Yeah, it was okay. always just a limited thing. And um, what bands were on the SST side? Or? I don't even remember now. <laughs> it's too long ago. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's like too it's... limited. Too long ago. So I don't even... <laughs> What's the best thing that happened to you today? Today? Yes. Well, playing here. All right. Of course. What was the best meal you've had in the past 24 hours? Well. um... Well, I would say there's been some good ones. Uh, I would say that, uh, I'm vegan, so, you know, it's always a matter of navigating the food terrain. But um, at this place in Portland, Maine, oh, yeah? we went there for lunch, and then we ended up going back there for dinner because it was so good. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was called um, Dogfish. Really? Dogfish Cafe hmm. in Portland, Maine. It's great. And um, the chef made uh, special vegan stuff for us. I also heard you uh, you had a solid, you actually sold um, electronics through SSC at first. When did that exactly stop? Well, before I was in involved with electronics, building electronics equipment since I was 12 years old, but um, before SST Records, there was SST Electronics, that was my company. So it, it happened before SST Records, and then it was 
what I did after SST Records was going for a few years, yeah. and then I couldn't, uh, after Black Flag started touring a lot, I couldn't, I had to make a choice. More time I, into it? Yeah, I couldn't do it, do it anymore and keep it going. Alright. Now, with your technical knowledge, have you, as far as, like, your gear setup, have you, like, done anything... Do you like modify all the equipment you have, or, is, or like? No, is not really, um, because that's just time consuming, and you, you know I can buy what I want. I've used the same basic equipment for a lot of years, as far as a guitar and bass, and uh, I just added the theremin. And, but I don't, uh, I don't really. There's people that that get into. Uh, you know, modifying. Uh, I, I don't use pedals, so I don't have a lot of extra stuff that I'm it's a messing with. Thing, yeah. yeah. So um, I haven't really, even though you know I have that skill. It's just from my guitar playing. It hasn't yeah. been something I've wanted to explore or something. Mm. Yeah, there's a, a lot of people that do, they call it circuit bending mm. and just modifying the different equipment. A lot of time, though, it's pedals and stuff like yeah. that that I don't use anymore. Um, uh, <laughs> that's, I guess, a weird question. Have you ever heard of a diaper cake? No. <laughs> What's well, that? A diaper cake, um... I honestly had no idea until I uh, I work at Stop and Shop, so I uh, we have the tabloids and stuff. We have like uh -huh. the Woman's World stuff, and, and like on the front of it, it's it, it, it had a like um, stuff about like making your own diaper cake, and apparently people make uh, their own like I don't know mothers or stuff make you know for new babies or new mothers make cakes that are things that look like cakes out of diapers. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's used diapers or new ones? I hope I, it's new I ones. hopefully not used. <laughs> yeah, I, I, all I can say is I've never heard of it, but I hope it's new diapers. Okay. I guess the only other thing I have to, I, I have to ask really is um, have you... Thank you. Have you heard of uh, Queens of the Stone Age? Yes. Um, you know, so you know Josh Homme? Yes. I used to really be into, him, and I like would read his interviews and such. And I think he took a lot of influence from your playing in Black Flag. And I also noticed that he also explained like he was also into like electronic music and dance music at the same time. I don't know if you've really listened to that his stuff like Caius or Queens of the Stone Age that much. Knowing that right now you're taking a lot of like uh, influence from like techno and trance and stuff like that and yeah. he, like knowing what he did I don't know like if there's any like if you've connected the two or like thought like about the comparison of like how you know, like his like his influence from you and like what he took from that and your influence from what you're doing right now musical influence is kind of like you know he would be a better source for yeah. that you know like you you heard his source and <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know what to add to that. It's just, only, it's just like its own thing, yeah. Only that, um, yeah, I respect people that are willing to just go in different directions and yeah. follow their muse. Basically, yeah. it's more fun than calculated kind of stuff. Yeah. Which life's too short for some kind of calculated yeah. nonsense. That's yeah. how I think about it. Yeah. So if there's somebody like that that's exploring and up to new stuff, then I'm all for it, you know. Well, I guess I kind of, I, I kind of agree. Like I, I, I'm looking up what you're doing now. Like I was wondering, I don't know. I kind of in a similar spot, you know. Like I, mm -hmm. I'm trying to, I want to make new music, but I, you know, rock music and everything else has already been done a jillion times, and it's a uh, well, there's new things that can be done with it, but it, it doesn't matter. 
It's yeah, what it's you a, fall. It's what you fall into. You know, whether it's called rock or you find something else that that moves you. Yeah. You know, and the rock in the '90s really didn't do a lot for me. I didn't like the grunge. I didn't, you know. So I looked for other things, jazz and electronic music, the raves. I thought would be people doing exciting stuff and busting out, busting loose. Uh, I, I was more attracted to that than the commercial grunge of the 90s, which I just really don't, you know, it, it doesn't impact me in any kind of way. I, during that period, I was hearing so much great electronic music and just people going off. Did you ever listen to any trip hop at all? Oh, any, sure. Any, like stuff like Morchiba or uh, Portis Head? And stuff yeah, like I'm not I'm not a big fan of down-tempo stuff mm-hmm. just because I'm not in the mood for it very yeah, yeah. much. If I go out, I tend to like stuff that's like, you know, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, uh, and, and so I'm not really, I don't really... Like, I can say, well, I like ambient music, yeah. but I never want to listen to it. You yeah. know what I mean? Not yeah. never, but i rather generally hear yeah. some trance or some uh, house music or uh, or hardcore techno, people doing, you know, yeah. crazy something shit. Or, up, up tempo, something more yeah, intense. Yeah, maybe it's just because, to me, a lot of... T- more often than not, I associate it with going out and the live experience.